Hi guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a mukbang at this place that I've never been to before and I don't know how I've never been here because you guys know I love pasta so much and this is a pasta drive through <laughs> You guys also know I love drive throughs and I never want to get out of my car to go to like a Starbucks or something. <laughs> so a pasta drive through I've heard good things about this place and I've lived by one literally my whole entire life and I've never been. So I was looking at the menu online and the stuff looks incredible. So I'm going to share my iPhone screen right here and we are going to look at the menu together and try and decide what to get. Look, you can get a whole family side of sauce for three bucks. You can get breadsticks, okay, pepperoni pizza breadsticks, Italian meatballs, fried mozzarella skewers. We are getting those. How cute are those? You know I love balls. Then they also have wings, which I'm not gonna get wings today. Baked spaghettis, lasagna, baked zitis. Oh my goodness. Wait until the fun stuff comes down here. So they have a spicy baked ziti with chicken, with sausage. The chicken broccoli penne looks really good. And then loaded fettuccine alfredo, broccoli, healthy. This gluten-free one looks really good too. Um, and then they also have some keto and low-carb options. Vegetarian options. Wow, they have a ton of stuff here and then I heard the breadsticks are like super greasy like you bite into them and it's just like juices um, but we have to try breadsticks of course okay guys I still kind of can't decide what I want um, I'm like debating between two pastas let me just pull up here and just make a quick decision when I'm on the spot Thanks, Robert. Always a cherry speaking classic sampler. No thanks. Could I get the fried mozzarella skewers? With a marinara alfredo. A marinara please. And then could I also do the gluten friendly chicken pesto rutini? Any extra cheese on top today? Yes please. Okay. And then does that come with breadsticks? Uh, yes it does. Okay. Um, and then that'll be it. You guys, I made a Twitter and a Twitch account. The links will be down below. Check them out. All right, gluten-friendly uh, pesto rotini with extra cheese, five monster Oscars with the marinara, thirteen forty-eight. Thank you. Thank you. So cheap, only thirteen bucks. So I was gonna get multiple pastas. Oh, I got gluten-free. I'm so healthy. It sounded so good, and I love the shape of the pasta noodles, and I love pesto, so I'm like, I'm gonna get that option. I sometimes accidentally buy gluten-free pasta, and you can't even tell the difference, to be honest. I don't even know how I do that. Sometimes I just accidentally buy the wrong pasta. I'll buy, like, random ones. There we go. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm so hungry, though. Mmm, and I got extra cheese on it. This might be the greatest invention ever. How have I not been here? I've been sipping on some Starbucks though. Mmm, delish. So I was really debating between this pesto one and just the original baked ziti. I love baked ziti, like from table six, or not table six, from BJ's with the Pazookis. I love their baked ziti. Oh, I gotta get red pepper flakes too. Oh wait, on pesto pasta? Would that even go? I'm gonna ask anyways. Okay, I just got the food. I'm so excited! I love pasta. I haven't had pasta in a while, honestly. It's been a while. I usually eat it weekly. I like to pasta on Sundays because Sundays are just like fun days. You know, Sunday fun day. And I can't even tell you the last time I had pasta. <laughs> Wait, what am I talking about? I think I had it last week. Oh my gosh, what am I? I had it like three times last week. My Hello, it was like HelloFresh. It was HelloFresh. Like zucchini pasta though, so it was like healthy. Okay, come on now. Ugh. Bread stick. Yay, and they gave us silverware. Love that. Oh, they're cute little bread sticks. Oh, look at these little skinny guys. Those are burning hot. And honestly, that's like a really good size. I like that size. Okay, here are the mozzarella balls. Oh my goodness! And the marinara big cup, and it's burning hot. Look at these mozzarella skewers. 
skewers. Skewers, skewers. That is adorable. Okay, and then finally, ooh, the bottom is so hot. Everything is really fresh. Here's our gluten-free pasta with extra cheese. When she said extra cheese, I was like, huh, of course. Like, who would say no to that? Really, though. Let me take the lid off. Oh, wow. This might be, like, the best mukbang ever. Look at this pasta. Look how cheesy that is. My mouth is dripping. These are so freaking cute, too. I love cute things. Anything ball shape is like cute though. Like I've said that before. And when my mom made me a bento box, she was like, I'm cutting my daughter's fruit into balls because she likes balls. And everyone was like, oh, why would she say that? It's like, <laughs> one, take a joke. And two, things are better in ball shapes. Anything's cuter in ball shape. Everyone took it so sexually. I mean, you could take it how you want it, but mm, okay. Let me take these mozzarella sticks out, or Bosco sticks, bread sticks, and we are ready to feast. And I also asked you guys some questions on my Instagram, and I can answer some of them. Okay, let's get a big cheese pull for the thumbnail. Oh my god. Thumbnail is taken. Let me try this cheesy pasta. Oh my goodness. That is so creamy and good. I love pesto. Like, it's so simple. Like, and I usually prefer red sauce pastas, but pesto is just really good and refreshing. Wow. And then chicken on top. Mmm. Let me give you guys another up close. Okay, let's have another bite of this, and then let's get into the first question. Wow. It's like super, like, creamy. I don't even know. So the first question we have is... Off the stick. Tips for doing YouTube or starting social media. Okay. Those are fun. Okay, my tips are you cannot give up. It takes time. Like, it could take years. It took, I mean, I started YouTube when I was eight. Mm. And did it on and off. I started doing it because I just loved it. I didn't know you could get paid. I didn't know you could get, get sponsorships with free clothes. Like, I feel like tons of people nowadays only want to do it for that. Um, you just have to like really enjoy doing it just to do it and or else you're going to get bored of it and you're going to give up. These are like so simple, but I love them. Like it just tastes like a good old, like kind of like a breadstick from like high school. <laughs> But definitely don't give up and then also really focus on your thumbnails and your titles. Thumbnails are huge. Because no one's going to click on the video 
if your thumbnail is bad. Even if the video is great quality. They won't know. Like, your thumbnail needs to be, like, the best thing. I like these mixed together. And I actually have a YouTube video on my channel on how to make thumbnails for starters. But you have to invest, get a camera. You can start off with a Canon or PowerShot. Yeah, a Canon PowerShot G7X. That's like what everyone has. It's actually this one right here. This little one, you can get it at Best Buy. I think it might be like 600 But you can ask for like a birthday gift or something, but you just need a good quality, or your iPhone. iPhones are great quality too. I mean, those things are $1,000. For example, this is now my iPhone. I switched the quality for you guys so you can see it. And the iPhone quality is just as good. Honestly, I think it might be like better. Like look how clear that is. My audio probably sounds a little bit different, but you know what? Let's make this video, because I always get questions like that. Let's make this video all about, yeah, my tips and tricks. So thumbnail, do that. Always have good lighting, have a good intro. Don't blabble about random things, at least at the beginning, because people might not even be interested in that. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm, this is really good dipped in the marinara. And then consist consistency is also key. Like, for real. Post weekly. You could film on the weekends, weekdays, like, post, sorry, I was just choking when I drank my water. <laughs> Because most people will post, okay, once a week for about a month, and then they give up. You can't do that. You got to just keep posting. And even, like, if your video isn't doing good, because I know people will post. Even that happens to me sometimes, and it's, like, dis discouraging. It's like, oh, why is it not getting no views? Like, I worked so hard on that video, and I loved how it turned out, but no one else likes it. And you're like, why? Like, I give up. But don't give up because that video could still blow up in like a couple months. It's going to keep getting views over time. So you cannot give up. Like, because you'll post it. You'll keep refreshing. Like, why am I not getting no views? Keep going. You can't give up. And my editing tips. Um, if you have a Mac, you can use iMovie for free. Max give you iMovie. We love we love Max, do we? Or do we not? I don't really know. I kind of don't know if I like Mac anymore. Mmm. These really taste like they're from like a fair. Like whatever breading it is. It's giving fair vibes. Yeah, I use iMovie. If you want to edit on your phone, I recommend InShot. I-N-S-H-O-T. I use that app a ton to edit like shorter videos, like TikToks and stuff. And just start posting and act like an influencer. Just be one. And then people are gonna watch that and be like, oh, who's this influencer? They don't know you. Like, don't be worried like, oh, people at my school or people I know are gonna watch this and laugh at me. Who cares? You only live once, do what you want. <laughs> I was at Planet Fitness the other day and I was talking to the worker and I was asking to go tanning and then he said something like, oh, I don't tan because I don't want skin cancer. I'm like, yeah, but if I lived in Florida, I'd be out in the sun every single day too. And you're just in the bed for like, what, 10 minutes? 
Like if I was, I was in Florida, I'd be at the beach every single day. And I was just like, you know what, YOLO. <laughs> like just, like just YOLO. And then he laughed and made fun of me. He's like, how old are you? How old are you? Like I'm 21. He's like, oh, I'm 18. But I've never heard someone use that word since like 2015. I'm like, that's like my motto. Like literally, I went to the gym every single day this week. I am so proud of myself. So proud of myself. I saw this other quote. This is just an inspirational video, isn't it? Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong part of my phone. But this quality, see you guys? I'm, I'm showing you. But um, if you ever don't feel motivated to go to the gym, this is a good tip. If you don't go to the gym, you're gonna regret not going. If you go to the gym, you're never gonna regret going. So it's like, why feel the regret when you know you just can't? And it's not about motivation, it's about discipline. Get up and drive there and go. Even if you go walk on the treadmill 10 minutes, just say that. I'm gonna go to the gym, walk on the treadmill on an incline for 10 minutes, and then that's it. Once you're there, it's like, I'm already here, I might as well keep going. A little bit is better than nothing. But, okay, now let me see how to edit a thumbnail. If you watch my video, I do use Photoshop. If you cannot afford to buy Photoshop yet or you don't want to go like, you know, full in all at once, which is understandable, there are so many online websites where you can edit your photos on. There's a good website called Canva. PixMonkey, there's a ton of them. Some of them you might have to pay like a year annual, annual fee or like a weekly fee, but you could try the trial. It might be like a $40 yearly fee, which is literally nothing. Photoshop is like 400 a year or something like that. But yeah, don't give up, do videos you like. And then also you can look at the trending page or watch YouTubers who you look up to and do videos like similar to theirs. If you like their style of videos, you know, you don't want to copy completely, but obviously that's the whole point of social media. You kind of get ideas from other people sometimes, change it, make it your own. And that's totally okay. There's so many ideas out in this world. It's like, no one has a brand new idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm full. I am. But that was delicious. Mm. My pesto, pesto rut routine. See, you guys, when you fast, it makes you not as hungry when you do eat. Like, I'm full. And look how much pasta I still have left. I did eat a breadstick and a half and a whole mozzarella stick skewer, but I'm like really full. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want me to do another mukbang giving even more tips because I feel like, honestly, I love teaching people that kind of stuff. Like, I love it. Like, I just wanna like help people and show them how. When I was in video productions back in high school, I kind I already knew how to edit because I was on YouTube for so long. And my teacher really liked me because I was like really good and I would help out everyone out. So like if someone didn't know how to do it, he'd be like, Pappas, can you help them? I'm like, yeah, and then I would teach. But um, yeah, let me know. Maybe my next mukbang, mukbang, <laughs> my next mukbang I can do um, a QA and a and I could say just ask questions about this stuff because you guys are probably curious how much you get paid how much you can get for sponsor sponsorships how much you should be asking for a sponsorship with this many subscribers or followers I will give you guys all my tips so let me know down below also I made a Twitter account if you guys want to follow it I'm kind of like spamming it I'm having fun on there I don't know why I've never had a public Twitter but it's fun so if you want to follow me there, all the links are always down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.